All right, so for those who have never been here before, this is what I call the Happy Home Paradise Challenge. Every Happy Home Paradise Challenge that I do, I give myself a 15 minute time limit and I have to decorate using the standard six by six size that the home comes in and my stream picks who I decorate for. I have no say, I cannot plan for it. It just, it will just happen and I'm just gonna have to live with it. So that's what we're gonna do. It's great. <laughs> All right, so who I could possibly decorate for next currently is Eon or Ioni, whatever, Zipper, Blanca, or Cube. So let's see who it's gonna be. Who am I decorating for next? Ooh. Oh, is it gonna be Eon? Hey, the star child. I love that. All right, so we've got Eon here ready to be scanned in. All right, what you thinking? Oh, okay, we're definitely going for a very, very elegant kind of home. Alrighty, well, we got Eon ready. They want a place fit for a diva. Very, very epic for this star child. <laughs> I don't know what else I'm trying to say. And here we go. Ioni, Eon, whatever you may call her, I think we all can agree that she is a beautiful little star child. <laughs> So I wanted to create her a fancy little home that reflected that. I also wanted to incorporate the whole accent wall being an actual window wall to the outdoors so that way I could allow for the stars to be peeking into the room because I mean that just fits her so well. <laughs> Once I put that together, I was trying to find the right wallpaper and flooring that really went through the elegance that I was trying to portray for Ioni because I just wasn't finding that initially. I was starting to really sweat because I wasn't finding the combination right away, but once I did find a combination that was working, I started getting to decorating right away. I used a lot of the elegant furniture pieces just because I felt like it fit for the whole elegant home I was going for. Hmm, who would have thought elegant furniture for an elegant build? Hmm, would have never thought. But in the end, I think it all came together very well and I think this reflects the star child very well. Yeah, I kind of gave up at the end there because, I mean, I could have put things on the walls, but honestly, there's so much going on everywhere else. I don't think I needed anything on the walls. I do wish I added a little bit of something over here. Um, but other than that, I wanted to keep it pretty clean. All right, show us around, girl. I won't see the place. Oh, you know what? That looks pretty freaking good. Because we don't, we don't want to go overboard. I think the back wall was just enough. Yeah, this works. <laughs> Just staring with a straight face. <laughs> She's so short, the camera can't get down fast enough. <laughs> oh, you know what? I think this is pretty good. <laughs> Not a bad way to start the stream. <laughs> Alrighty, well, let's see who's gonna be next then. Round and round and round it goes. Who it's gonna be, no one knows except for the great almighty wheel. Ooh, I think it's gonna be Cube. It's doing that thing. It's Cube. <laughs> I love Cube. I had Cube back in the GameCube days. <laughs> and I just thought he was so cool with his little eyes. Look at those eyes. They could do nothing wrong, right? What you want? Eco-friendly factory. How about no? <laughs> I don't think so. We're gonna just give you a nice home that goes with your color palette. Black, yellow, and blue. Donut factory? No, oh, you wait a gosh darn moment here, Mythical. You you want some high brain power right there. But you know what, Mythical? I think I'm gonna go with that. 
I think I'm gonna go with Donut Factory and I'm gonna color it like him. Let's give Cube a little Donut Factory in three, two, one, go. Here we go. For those who may not know, I am working on a sweets themed island on Animal Crossing New Horizons. It's just where I have a bunch of sweet shops all over the place and there's just so many different cafes that you can visit and it just all looks like you could get a cavity by walking around the town. So of course building a little sweet shop is up my alley, but usually I use a lot of pastels and Cube's aesthetic doesn't really go for pastels. So I was trying to go for a more neutral look whenever I was building this whole quote unquote donut factory. I struggled a bit with how I wanted this all to lay out just because it's not a lot of space and I was trying to really incorporate the fact that you can make donuts in the background since, you know, Cube wanted initially a warehouse. So I wanted to kind of bring that warehouse aspect to this build, but it was really difficult because again, not a lot of space. I'd love to revisit this once again if possible because I definitely feel like I could generate some new ideas if I went back now. But overall, the build wasn't that bad. <laughs> okay, there we go. It looks decent. <laughs> you know what I should have done? I'm realizing what I should have done. I should have used the medium partition shelves to hold the donuts instead of the covered shelves. That's probably what I would change differently here. And then I probably would have put one other thing on the back wall, maybe like a light. But other than that, I think it looks like a good one. Mom, can you pick me up? I'm scared. No, I'm not scary. No, my husband's always telling my kid, Mommy's scary. And she's like, yeah. I'm like, no, I'm not scary. But when I yell like that, I guess I am. <laughs> it's looking pretty good. Simple little donut shop. Don't mind the cannon. Don't look at it too much. It's nothing. Don't worry about it. Oh, I love that. Global warming was a, really a global warning. Pax powder and <laughs> the plant's going to war, you guys. The plant is going to war with global warming. Let's see who's up next. Who's it gonna be? Ooh, -wee. who's it gonna be? Is it gonna be Diana? It's Diana, another fancy bean. All right, got Diana's card here. So we're gonna get her scanned in. All right, what kind of home are you thinking about? Oh, a place to meditate. Interesting. I don't know how it's gonna go, but we'll figure it out. <laughs> and here we go. Given the whole meditation theme, I knew I wanted to create a whole space that had a little room that just really allowed you to meditate and relax in but I really, really struggled finding the right kind of wallpaper and flooring to go with because I was really trying to match Diana's color palette. This build made me realize there's really not a lot of lilac-like colors. There's not a lot of light purples. There's a lot of pinks, but there's not enough light purples. I wasn't too happy with the wallpaper and flooring combinations that I was coming up with, but I was happy with the little room that I was building that I wanted to dedicate to just meditation. But since I struggled so much with the wallpaper and flooring, 
I really didn't have a lot of time to really decorate. As you can see, I'm still messing with the walls and flooring and we are almost 10 minutes into the build. I started frantically putting things down because I knew I needed to fill up the space a bit more because I just was very lost with this build. I definitely want to revisit this one in the future. <laughs> If I could do a little more, I would put like, I would do something about this area. I would spruce it up a little bit more, but I'm loving the mirror. Honestly, probably I would put the mirror like, oh God, I'd probably put the mirror like here or something. And then I would add like a clothing rack or something. I feel like that would be good, but we're gonna put it back where it was. And then I guess I would add like, I would add like maybe a tea station over here or something, just like a little tea area, because that just speaks like relaxing and meditation to me. Um, I definitely think I tried to go for many different things here. And when I say many different things, I mean colors. Like, like I love her color palette, her character, but I then started to go like for a completely different color scheme for like her furniture and stuff. And I kind of wish that I stuck with more purples, but there's not a lot of lilacs in this game. So we did what we could. Wow. A place to meditate. Yeah, see, there's just so much empty space over here. But this over here looks very nice. Oh, love this view. Perfect. Everything I could have hoped for. Ooh, see, this looks really good from this angle here. It looks so good. Are you gonna smile? Or you, you'll just do that? <laughs> very nice. Yeah. I just need to, if I kept playing with it, it would have turned out a lot better. It's not bad, but there's just a few tweaks I would make. Who's up next? Mm. <laughs> Katie, Katie. <laughs> Very nice, we're gonna decorate for Katie next. Ooh, this is exciting. She's just a cute little bean, so I wonder, I wonder what we could do for her. Here she is, the cute little bean gonna make her a home. Don't know what it is gonna be yet. <laughs> you guys have good suggestions though, or of uh, daycare, toy store, playground, <laughs> McDonald's play place. <laughs> um, I think we might have to do that. <laughs> Cause that's like everything that's suggested combined. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go for a McDonald's playground. Where we'll end up, I don't know, but that's what we're gonna start with. In three, two, one, go. <laughs> a McDonald's play place in Animal Crossing. I never thought I would be here, but here I am. <laughs> I will say I honestly had a lot of fun with this, trying to figure out how I could make this work, especially with such a small place to build in. I wanted to create basically, you know, one of those walls that uh, basically separated the restaurant from the play area and have like a little cubby hole so that way everybody could put their shoes and belongings in there. So that's what I was trying to build in this first section here. I was also trying to put a window wall because, you know, play places here in America, they have like the big windows everywhere around the play area. And then, you know, I wanted to throw some arcade machines because back in the day, there was some arcade machines at McDonald's and I wanted to bring that back, gosh dang it. Yeah, I kind of struggled to put items in um, near the end. I was just trying to find things that fit the whole quote unquote McDonald's color scheme <laughs> and just kind of ran with it. But again, this was really fun to build out and um, hope that Katie loves it. <laughs> Uh, 
Oh, so let's have Katie give us the grand tour since we can't really walk around in here. <laughs> wow. All the shoes and socks on the floor. <laughs> Oh, I love this view. Isn't that great? Oh, perfect angle. Just the toys in the corner. I could have put more stuff on the walls. I didn't like think to put like posters on the walls and stuff. All of these views are awful. <laughs> I don't even see the playground in any of these views. <laughs> Overall, with the four villagers that I decorated for in this stream, I'm feeling okay. <laughs> I definitely feel like the last video I did on making Happy Home Paradise um, builds was a lot better. But, you know, I, I just got a little more fun with these guys. <laughs> Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I stream these every Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday. Sometimes I stream other things too, but I tend to stream these videos out on Twitch. So you can definitely go check them out and I'd love to see you there. And I have a little print shop that you can explore and possibly buy from. And I have many different prints on there that I really love. I have them hanging out in my house. So maybe you would like to hang them up in yours. I don't know you, but you know, maybe you would like to. <laughs> Anyways, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.